Welcome to another video of divisibility test of numbers. In this video we will understand divisibility test for important prime numbers. So let's start with the first important prime number that is number 11. There are two methods to test the divisibility for number 11. First test is suitable for small numbers that is a 4 digit or 5 digit number. As per the test the last digit of the given number is subtracted from the remaining digits of the given number. This process of subtraction is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Consider a number as 86416. Here the last digit is 6, so 6 is subtracted from the remaining digits of the number, that is 8641, resulting in difference equal to 8635. Since the number is still large and thus not comparable, so again difference is obtained by subtracting 5 from 863 giving difference equal to 858. The process is repeated by subtracting 8 from 85, giving difference equal to 77. Now 7 is subtracted from 7, giving 0 as the difference. Since 0 is divisible by 11, so the given number is also divisible by 11. Though the second test is suitable for large numbers, that is, number with digits more than 5, but it can still be applied for small numbers. To check whether a number is divisible by 11, as per the test, digits are labeled with counting numbers in any direction. But for now, the direction from highest place value to lowest place value is considered, that is from left to right. Afterwards, the difference of sum of digits of the number at odd places and even places is obtained. If the difference obtained is divisible by 11, then the given number is also divisible by 11. Let's understand with an example. Consider a number as 47,89,152. The sum of digits at odd places is obtained, that is 4 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2, which is equal to 15. Also, the sum of digits at even places is obtained, that is 7 plus 9 plus 5, which is equal to 21. Now, the difference of these sums is obtained as 21 minus 15, which is equal to 6. Since 6 is not divisible by 11, so the given number is not divisible by 11. Moving on to the next prime number that is number 13. Again there are two ways to test whether a number is divisible by 13 or not. First test is suitable for small numbers that is a 3 digit or 4 digit number. To check whether a number is divisible by 13, multiply the units digit by 4 and add the product so obtained to the remaining digits of the number. If the sum so obtained is divisible by 13, then the given number is also divisible by 13. The process of obtaining the sum is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Let's understand this with an example. Consider a number as 4198. The unit digit 8 is multiplied by 4 and the product obtained that is 32 is added to the remaining digits, that is 419, to get the sum equal to 451. Since the number is still large and thus not comparable, so again the sum is obtained by adding the product of the last digit that is 1 and 4 to the remaining digits that is 45. The sum obtained now is 49. Further 9 is multiplied by 4 and the result is added to the remaining digits that is 4 giving sum equal to 40. Since 40 is not divisible by 13, so the given number is also not divisible by 13. Though the second test is suitable for large numbers, that is numbers with digit more than 5, this method is used to reduce the steps involved in the first test of divisibility by number 13. To check whether a number is divisible by 13, as per the test, the digits of the given number are grouped in threes. Afterwards, subtraction and addition is applied alternately to these formed groups from the rightmost group. If the result so obtained is divisible by 13, then the given number is also divisible by 13. Let's understand the application of this test by an example. Consider a number as 21,69,479. First group of three digits from the extreme right is 479, whereas the second group of three digits is 169, and the third group contains only one digit that is 2. Now apply subtraction and addition alternately to these so formed groups, that is 479 minus 169 plus 2 which on simplification gives 312. Since the number is reduced to 3 digit number, now apply the first test as discussed. Where 2 is multiplied by 4 to give product 8, 
which is further added to the remaining digits that is 31 to give 39. Since 39 is divisible by 13, so the given number is also divisible by 13. Moving on to the next prime number that is number 17. To check whether a number is divisible by 17, multiply the units digit of the number by 5 and subtract it from the remaining digits. If the difference obtained is divisible by 17, then the given number is also divisible by 17. The process of obtaining the difference is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Consider a number as 4165. The units digit 5 is multiplied by 5 and the product obtained that is 25 is subtracted from the remaining digits that is 416. The difference obtained is 391. As the difference is still large, so repeat the subtraction of multiplying the last digit that is 1 by 5 which equals 5. The difference is obtained by subtracting the product so obtained from the remaining digit that is 39 in the number. As the result is 34, which is divisible by 17, so the given number is also divisible by 17. Moving on to the next prime number that is number 19. To check whether a number is divisible by 19, multiply the units digit of the number by 2 and add it to the remaining digits. If the sum so obtained is divisible by 19, then the given number is also divisible by 19. The process of obtaining the sum is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Consider a number as 3819. The units digit 9 is multiplied by 2 and the product so obtained that is 18 is added to the remaining digits that is 381. The sum obtained is 399. As the number is still large, so repeat the addition by multiplying the last digit that is 9 by 2 which equals 18. The sum is obtained by adding the product so obtained to the remaining digit that is 39 in the number, which equals 57. Further 7 is multiplied by 2 and the result is added to the remaining digit that is 5, giving sum equal to 19. Since 19 is divisible by 19, so the given number is also divisible by 19. Moving on to the next prime number that is number 23. To check whether a number is divisible by 23, multiply the units digit of the number by 7 and add it to the remaining digits. If the sum so obtained is divisible by 23, then the given number is also divisible by 23. The process of obtaining the sum is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Consider a number as 10626. The units digit 6 is multiplied by 7 and the product obtained that is 42 is added to the remaining digits that is 1062. The sum obtained is 1104. As the number is still large, so repeat the addition by multiplying the last digit that is 4 by 7 which equals 28. The sum is obtained by adding the product so obtained to the remaining digit that is 110 in the number which equals 138. Further 8 is multiplied by 7 and the result is added to the remaining digit that is 13 giving sum equal to 69. Since 69 is divisible by 23, so the given number is also divisible by 23. Moving on to the next prime that is number 29. To check whether a number is divisible by 29, multiply the units digit of the number by 3 and add it to the remaining digits. If the sum so obtained is divisible by 29, then the given number is also divisible by 29. The process of obtaining the sum is repeated till a comparable number is obtained. Consider a number as 3335. The units digit 5 is multiplied by 3 and the product obtained that is 15 is added to the remaining digits that is 333. The sum obtained is 348. As the number is still large, so repeat the addition by multiplying the last digit that is 8 by 3 which equals 24. The sum is obtained by adding the product so obtained to the remaining digit that is 34 in the number which equals 58. Further 8 is multiplied by 3 and the result is added to the remaining digit that is 5 giving sum equal to 29. Since 29 is divisible by 29, so the given number is also divisible by 29. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.